Yeah, heading into the Las Vegas tournament, um, huge tournament, a lot of really good teams. Uh, we're a little bit closer to being full strength with uh, Travis Piotrowski and Dylan Duncan getting back in the lineup. Michael Carr's healthy again. Um, we're wrestling uh, Kristen Kanzler. He's back healthy. Uh, Carver James is back wrestling. He's going to wrestle 174. Unfortunately, Emory, Emory Parker's a little banged up this week and, and won't be able to compete. We're getting closer to being full strength, and it'll be nice, hopefully, a week from Friday when we will have all 10 of our guys back in the lineup. All right, we had a pretty important question for Coach Hef, for all my office fans out there. Which bear is best? Don't watch The Office. Never False. seen it. Black bear. Okay. Another question. Everyone wants to know how much do you pay for haircuts? Jim's Barbershop in my garage. Doesn't cost me a cent. Do it yourself. Do it myself. You should probably That's pay. That's why it looks haircut. so good. Yeah. All right. Uh, next question is if you were on a deserted island and you could only have one person on the team with you for 30 days, who would it be? Well, I can narrow it down to two guys pretty quick. Michael Carr, because the only thing he does for enjoyment is hunting fish. And he'd help on the survival side. Um, probably the other guy would be Matt Robluski because he makes me laugh. I <laughs> keep my sanity. All right, last question. Who on the team has the best taste in music? It's not Andre Lee. <laughs> I know that. Um, I don't know. Baroni and Malagusis listen to some old stuff, so they got a leg up on everybody else. I listen to some slammers, too. But... Yeah, a little bit. So my question for you, who's your favorite coach of all time? Can it, does it have to be my coach? Oh well, yeah, one of your coaches. All the Dakota years, everything. Um, I mean, I'd probably have to say my very first coach ever that actually got me involved. His name was Denny DeMoss, my dad's friend, and uh, he's the one that just kind of got me involved. And if it, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here. So. Is he still at Dakota? No, he's not at Dakota. No? No. He's a dad now doesn't really just watch it just a fan fair enough yeah you're off the team <laughs> <laughs>